Okay, what's up? It's your boy DubX doing the first interview in the video series, video blog series. Um, here we have Ashley. And how old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. And where are you from? Parma. Okay, Parma. Okay, West Sider. Okay, so we're gonna get into a line of questioning now. I actually asked this lady to do this for me because it's one of the more real females that I know. So, um, she would not have a problem answering questions truthfully. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. First question. And this is going to be the first question that you hear on every interview in this series. That question is, is it possible for a lady to be a freak or does a freak have to be a hoe? Freak not to be a hoe. Ladies are freaks. I'm a lady. <laughs> okay, and you're a lady, so you're a freak as well. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it that I don't know? What make you or would give you that title? What is it that would give you the title of being a freak? Things that I would be willing to do. Okay, and just to be clear, this is not like things you're willing to do for just like some average dude you meet off the street. It would be for somebody you're interested in, maybe somebody you were with, whatever, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the more specific experiences. Now, I'm going to break this down piece by piece. Um, obviously, you know, normal, regular, straight sex is something that you're into. Obviously, you're here. <laughs> okay. So, besides that, Let's get into some other things that maybe you're interested in or into as far as sex is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't do nothing. All I do is sit at the house with my baby. Okay. Well, as far as as far as like when you're with a guy, you know, and you and him are spending some one on one time and it gets into sex, I wanna know things that you like, things that you don't like. Stuff that you're into, stuff that you tried, the whole nine. Give me everything, all the good shit. <laughs> I pass on that one. You're passing? <laughs> How can you pass on that? Wow. Well, dude, I'm, just, I'm just telling everybody instead of, of, of it being a surprise. So. Instead of it being a surprise? Yeah. Okay, so if I asked you a specific question or two, could you give me those? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's say I know um, a lot of women, and I know people watching this or looking at this or you know they've known a lot of women to say the same thing but for some reason the attitude here especially in Cleveland is women think that head is just the worst thing ever like they feel like it's so fucking nasty of course I don't agree <laughs> but <laughs> that's only given and receiving side too but what is your your take on that what is your view on that how do you feel about that I don't think it's nasty some people don't like doing it. I thought it was nasty at first, but you just don't do it to everybody. Right. Okay. So with that person that got you to change your mind, what happened? How did he you change your mind? He didn't change my mind. You just changed your mind. Because I wanted to try something new. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. What is it about a guy, or what is it that a guy can do, like? Let's just say it's a guy that, you know, you already are interested in. So that part's clear. But if he wanted to, I don't know, turn you on sexually. Guys, you got to pay attention to this. All right. So if a guy wanted to turn you on, you're already feeling each other or whatever. And he wanted to kind of like put you in the mood. What is the easiest way to do that with you? Mm, hold me a kiss on my neck. Okay. That's common. That's really common. So... Relatively simple woman to please, I see. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. Um, let's get into places. Places. This should be interesting. What do you mean by places? Places. Places that you've had sex outside of the bedroom. <laughs> like I said, we're not going to go with, you know, specific people or anything like that or times if you don't want to. But let's say the most interesting place you have had sex? Mm, the kitchen. The kitchen? That's the most interesting place you've had sex? Well, Never outside I mean, the house? I, mean, or... I was out in the park. Ah. <laughs> park? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let's get the settings on that. How did that happen? Yeah. Nighttime, daytime, what happened? 
It's always night. Nighttime? Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? What happened? Mm, nothing to talk about. It's not bad on my half, but he is. Because he <laughs> couldn't go past 30 seconds. Wow. <laughs> Wow, whoever you are, I know you're pissed. <laughs> Better be glad that there's no names involved because you probably be mad than a motherfucker. I'd be lucky because I would say his name and not care. Oh, way. We're going to keep you off a blast, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a sure guy. About, even his friends know. Damn. Damn. So, what's, what's a good time for you as far as, like, you know, the length of time that you have sex? What, what is usually, like, satisfying to you? As far as, you know, like I said, at length. It's not really a time. It's not it's really a time. I get tired. Oh, wow. Take you a long time to get tired? Not really. Not really? Okay, okay. Now, the one question that I know all guys are going to want to get in on. Probably going to be a lot of women disagreeing with these answers. <laughs> but we're going to go to size. Size, size. Now, for you, how big of a part does size play? It got to be more than average. Got to be more than average, okay. Were we talking length or, or thickness? Both. Both. Okay. You can't have a long dick and be skinny. That's nasty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so of the two, of the two, what's more important to you? Say he had to be, he had to be average in one of them. Say he either had to be average length or average width, but the other one he could be above average. Which one would be more important to you to be above average? Length. Length. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now, this is going to be the part where I'm going to ask you to do something kind of weird. I want you to think really hard. Try not to take too long. Think really hard and give me a summary of the best sexual experience you have ever had. I want to know. Like, you don't have to give, like I said, the, the super, super itty-bitty details, but in a little bit of a detail, what happened and, you know, why was it the best sexual experience you've ever had? I don't even think I'm going to think of one. Because I don't know. Well, give me one of them. <laughs> one of them that was really good. Uh, Memorable. <laughs> wow. Uh, Come on, you gotta give me something memorable. Something that was, I don't know. I got one, but it's odd at the same time. So. Why is that? Because, it, I think it was the third person I slept with. Yeah. Third, I thought the first popped my cherry, but I guess he couldn't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You know, so I ended up doing that at the same time, so yeah, it's gross. But, mm -hmm. I guess him. Okay. He's the biggest of all. Well, what happened? I mean, like, how'd you guys get into it? What happened? Mm, usual. You sleeping next to each other. One wake up, roll over, start feeling on each other. Then one thing leads to another. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, um. Position wise, what is the one position that you just can't go without? Mm. See, I can I only think it's a common position, so I can't give it a name. Okay, well, can you describe it, <laughs> Joe? Okay, I know you'd be on the corner of the bed, one leg be on the floor, and one leg be up on the bed. It's like doggy style, but one leg on the floor. Ah. That Ah, yes, it's a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay. Now, I don't want to make it too obvious, but if you had to say uh, one part of you that men are most attracted to right off top before they get to know you, what would it be? My appearance? I mean, what part of your appearance... Well, if these are out, that. <laughs> Other than that, my face. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can I can go for that. All right. Um, I'm going to give you the opportunity, if you choose to, to name one person 
if you choose to name one person that you feel has maybe not been your best but been your mo most consistent like your most consistently satisfying sexual partner like who makes it happen like every time you do it like is there one person that you know it's good almost every time my baby daddy ah Ah, so baby daddy gets props over here. See, I just did you a favor, bruh. I just did you a favor. Okay. All right, well, that's going to do it for this this little interview. Just running over 10 minutes. We're going to try to keep it under 11 minutes here. So anything else you'd like to say before you go? No. Anybody you want to say hi to? <laughs> mm -mm. All right. Well, I really do appreciate your time.